The COVID unit is a pretty tightly run um, collection of people. and It's a microcosm of what goes on everywhere in a hospital. It involves the care of a whole slew of people. And the closest, most continuous care is obviously that by the nurses. And far and away, they have it the toughest. You know, standing in hot PPE for 10 to 12 hours a day is draining, and the chronicity of the disease in some people can be exhausting. I came in and says, if you need somebody to help you downstairs, I'm willing to go down and help. Give me the rules, the regulations. And I geared up, and that was it. I was down there, and they've been there since March. I've yet to hear anyone complain down there. And um, they show up, um, they do their job, they do it willingly, uh, they're emotionally involved. And I probably don't think there's a better example of the whole crew of people at Halifax as it exists in the biocontainment unit. The, the people involved there are extremely dedicated and want to be there and want to do this. And I think they feel this is a kind of a higher calling for them. We're here to help not just do a job, but here to help patients get through what they have to get through so they can feel better, and Halifax Health has helped us in doing that in a lot of ways. I've been nursing for many years, but I'm gonna let you know that this virus doesn't pick and choose. It just does what it does. We get extremely closely attached to these patients. It's hard not to. The patients that are in there for two, three, four weeks, we know them, we know their families through FaceTime and so forth, and that can be emotionally draining. But there are plenty of success stories down there. There's plenty of people that walk out on some home oxygen. Uh, there have been people that have left on no oxygen to return to their normal lives.